Hey, I'm Roscoe, welcome back. I have a sink that leaks real bad around the uh, collar right here. So if you have a sink that's leaking around where the spigot turns, you need to replace the O-rings, and here's how you do it. First thing you're gonna wanna do when you get started is turn off the water. Now that's both sides, the hot and the cold, and then you'll wanna test it and make sure that there's no water coming out the sink. Next, the tools that you will need is an Allen wrench, and it varies on uh, which size, depending on what brand you have. You will need the O-rings that you're going to use to replace the O-rings inside the neck of the faucet, and you'll need some plumber's grease. Some people don't use the, the, the silicone grease. Uh, I would recommend it, it makes the seals last longer, and the, the faucet will slide better back and forth. So step one, pop off this little cap on the front of the faucet here. Uh, we're gonna remove the handle. To remove the handle, you'll need that Allen wrench. The process of replacing these seals is pretty much the same no matter what brand faucet you have, uh, whether it's Moen, Delta, this one here is a Price Fister. So you'll loosen up that, that, uh, loosen up that little set screw there with your Allen wrench, like that. And then it'll pull off of the top of the cartridge. And you want to check your cartridge. If there's water inside your cartridge here, then you may need to replace the cartridge too. And I'll put a video on for that some other time. Next, we're going to remove this ring off the top. So you'll need a wrench to remove this top uh, ring here so that we can pull the faucet spout off. If you put a towel around it, you might be able to save uh, tearing up that, the finish on the chrome ring with your wrench. Just loosen it and then you can take it off the rest of the way by hand. Now if you take that towel and set it back behind here, all the water that's in the neck of this uh, was gonna run out the back of this faucet here. And I'm gonna take this off. So, saves a little bit of mess. Okay, now you've got that off. You wanna clean it up pretty good before you put it back on. So you clean out the inside and there'll be some buildup probably around the, wherever it's been leaking. Next, we're gonna remove the old O-rings off of here. If you start with the bottom one, and I use a screwdriver to just get it started, and then you can roll it over. If you start with the bottom one, it'll roll over that top one and it won't get caught in the groove. And take off the next one. Now, faucets use different sizes of these depending on the brand. If you don't know what size you have, you can take the old ones off and go to the hardware store and buy some, or you can uh, buy a set of a whole bunch of them. And I'll link the set for like all the different sizes down uh, below here. You can order it on Amazon. They're not that expensive. Then you'll only end up using a couple of them out of there, but you'll have some extras for next time. If you know what size you want, you can just order the specific size and they're only like a dollar. So I've got my new rings here. The first one I put on is gonna go in that top groove and then I'll roll over that one down to the one in the bottom groove. So I got the one in the top groove. And then I'll roll past it down to that bottom groove. There we go. Now, I'm gonna use my uh, silicone grease. I'll link this down below too. You can order this on Amazon or you can pick it up at a hardware store. Uh, one of these tubes lasts a long time, so if you do a bunch of these. I have rental property and this tube's lasted me a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease up these rings. Now I can put my faucet spout back on. 
There's often little slide rings that go in there. There should be one in the top, and there was probably one. Yeah, there's one down there on the bottom that stayed down, down there when I took this off. So be sure you still have those little plastic rings. I'm gonna slide this back on there. That little ring in there, right? Uh, let me put the ring, the chrome ring back on top. Then I'm gonna use my wrench and go ahead and snug it back up. Just to make sure that it's not coming off or going anywhere. Last step, we're gonna put the handle back on and then we'll try it out. If you didn't take this little set screw out all the way, then you can just slip it back on there and tighten it back down with that Allen wrench. A little plug goes back in there. Some of these handles, depending on the brand, the Allen wrench, uh, the little set screw may be in the back of the faucet handle. Um, I can't remember if it's deltas that are that way. Uh, a lot of them are in the front, but occasionally you'll find one that's in the back. Now we can go ahead and turn the water back on and we can test it out. The water back on. It's from the neck. Swivels real nice. And I don't see any leaks coming out of up here or down here. We've got it all fixed. That's how you change out the O-rings and stop a faucet from leaking down here at the base. Thanks for watching. I'm Roscoe. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time.